tapping in with another reaction video. Right now we got Cholo Huang, goes to American Cholo, and he speaks on doing business with PC YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? They call it the YouTube Yarda. You know what I mean? So we're going to check it out. We're going to give our opinion. It's program time. That, that you get the recognition from homies like you that, you know, are I out keep there. it real, bro. And as a matter of fact, this week, I'm going to do a video on the YouTube Yarda. Oh, that's going to be hot. And as of right now, the YouTube Yarda. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, the YouTube Yarda is basically uh, the social media prison yard. <laughs> now, like, you know, I think it's you, Lucky. And there's, a, there's, there's an empty seat. Um, yeah, there is, but I mean, we, we let's we can jump into that little realm right now, right? The YouTube Yarda. You know what needs to get done too, though. And no disrespect to those guys, but it is what it is, homie. You already know what's coming, dog. Cleaning house. It needs to have like a maybe I can give you an idea. You need to put a, a map out there, or like you know when the mm -hmm. when the feds come on and say this is this guy, this is this guy, and there's got to be a line drawn where guys are you know in certain they, they say they're not dropouts, which is fine because they weren't part of that. Now they say we never dropped in, but I mean quote unquote they're PCs, bro. So. Yes, but I mean I see here's the thing. He's true what he's saying, but you can't tell someone that to not tell their story. You feel me? Like you can't tell someone that been to prison to not talk about prison, or been to jail and not talk about jail, or live the gang life and not talk about the gang life. You, you, you feel me? You just can't do that. You can't. You can't say, well, you're not qualified to talk about prison, or you're not. If he's been there, you feel me? If he's been there, he's been there. Evidently, he's been there. You know what I mean? So he has some sort of knowledge. So we can speak, bro, to an extent. And I get what you're saying. They shouldn't be speaking on internal business, like shit that's like up there. You feel me? But as far as what you put on social media, I mean, come on, bro. Like, don't be on social media. You know what I mean? So that's the thing, dog. And you can't prevent someone from telling the story, dog. That's basically it, dog. No matter who they are, active, not active, tall, small, whatever. Come on, bro. You can't prevent nobody. YouTube's all over the world, bro. It's content. And it, it's it's um guideline. You, you feel me? Like, like if you if it's violent, then they'll put an age restriction. So you can't restrict people for if based on status, like hood status. At the end of the day, bro, that's looking at it at a way where you're a prisoner. Okay. You know what I mean? That's looking at it way as, as, as business to us, gang related, all that, right? But in all reality, a lot of our subscribers care less about Oh, that. they don't give a shit. No, I know this. So, I mean, it'll be detrimental for us to start pushing that line mm. because our subscribers are not going to support us and we're going to boss ourselves in. And I want homies to win. Exactly, bro. You want to pick and shoot? Come on, bro. Just... If people disrespect you, you block them. Or if you don't really like someone, block them. But if you go through all your subscribers, let's say you got a thousand subscribers, you go through every single one and start filtering them out. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like him. Bro, you're going to be down to a few hundred. Come on, bro. An extre extremely smart move on your end. This is the only thing I have on it. It's like this. It's We know the rules. I'm talking about just not no prison rules, just regular old gang rules, homie. You from the hood, the things you don't do is you don't snitch, you don't this, you don't talk about certain stuff. And to me, my issue with, with a lot of the YouTube yarda, let's say, is this. You vatos made a decision to walk away. Yeah. And when I say walk away, it wasn't you were just good in the hood and you walked away and started doing your family. No, I'm talking about you guys literally did something to walk away, put yourself in a in a, in a bad standing in your own neighborhood. And... No. Nah. A lot of times, but sometimes people get dirty politic, they get smutted up. You might have a solid homie, all tatted up, got his all his work, you know, put him work, been locked up for a long time, got into a zone that got a lot of pool and got removed. I mean, not everybody ended up on a no good yard, quote quote unquote, for being a bad guy, but they got some people got done dirty. And then you got the people with bad charges and people that told, okay, I understand that, bro. But 
some people are solid all the way around, fool. Like, is you know, you know what I mean? So, just because you're an actor, you're doing your solid, bro. You might be a jerk, an asshole. You might be telling on the low. You don't know. A lot of people on the SNYs and 5050s came from GPR. So who's to say people right there won't go over there when people over there came from over there? Come on, bro. <laughs> Common sense, dog. And you can't tell someone not to tell their story, dog. Especially if they've been to prison, no matter what side, bro. Especially if they dropped out, they're going to tell their story, bro. I mean, come on. It's common sense, bro. And, you know, a lot of your followers follow you based on your content, bro. You're a cholo. You're a cholo, man. So, come on. If you just say, oh, I'm not a cholo no more, like, I don't want to talk about it. They might, you might lose a lot of subscribers, dog. So, you got to think about that, too. Some people tune in just for your backstory. You know, the prison, or they might want to hear your opinion. You feel me? Or, or your perspective on situations, bro, that pertain to the streets, pertain to jail. Pertain. If you can't give your uh, uh, opinion or, or, you know, none of that, your two cents, then what's the sense of them tuning in? So you're limiting yourself. Like you said, you're boxing yourself in, bro. And when you did, for me, for people who do that, I respect it. Fuck it, homie. You did what you did to get out. But now you're coming, you're double dipping. Now you're coming and speaking on stuff that if you didn't walk away that way, you wouldn't be speaking on. You think no, so or not? Well, it's true, but the person that's active is speaking on that issue too then. You know what I mean? If someone that's not active is speaking on a subject and someone that's active feels like, no, 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 I'm active, I should be speaking on it because you're not active. Well, bro, you're active. You shouldn't be speaking on it anyway. You get where I'm going with this, bro? Come on. And I agree to a certain extent. Um, the YouTube yada, they they looked at more like uh, I live that life. I have some type of experience to talk about it. Right. But I'm a civilian now because to us they're ostracized. Right. Yes, ostracized. They're supposed to be. My bad. Ostracized. So ostracized from your hood, from the streets, not from the internet, bro. If you want to ostracize someone from the internet, go block them. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be on your account. You get one coming going with this, bro. This is social media. You can't get any feelings or don't talk about that. I should be talking about that. Or, come on, bro. It's social media. That's what it's built off drama, content, views, money. Without drama, without that content, without that those conversations, you know, then there's no content. There's no money. Come on, bro. You know, they're not welcome, right? But when it comes to when it comes to the YouTube yarda, is there any way? Can yeah, I get you right now. My bad, bro. No, you got it. When it comes to the YouTube yarda, I just believe that uh, it's the YouTube yarda, bro. <laughs> it's, it's not a prison yard, dog. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's not. You know, it's not. It's YouTube, bro. You know, a lot of it's true, but some is fake. It is what it is, dog. But it's true, bro. Like, it's good info. It's good content. Like I said, it's entertaining, dog. In my bad, I just spilled the beans right now. <laughs> literally, literally, literally. Let me get some more beer. Yeah, yeah give, give the whole roll. Give the whole roll here. Yeah, yeah see, that's why I like Toro Mom, bro. He's respectful, dog. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you have one of your guests go clean that up? You feel me? Be honest. But Toro Mom's respectful, bro. You can tell he's been around. He's been locked up, bro. He's been on the yards. That's why I respect him, bro. I said mine, bro. Toro Mom. He, he, he didn't read my... uh. I think they'll fuck up my table. Homes. Oh man! Damn, Cardinal, we got to go step outside. We get another soda too. Though. Like we got, we will get that. Though. We just <laughs> we have to record it because I want to get paid for it. <laughs> if I'm gonna get beat up, I want to. Get... He seems like one of those two man American Cholo. Like I mess with his page though, bro. I subscribe. I watch his content. Good content. Seems like a cool dude, but he seems like one of the homies that he'll joke around with you about fighting, but. If you joke around back, you take it all serious and like really get, you know what I mean? He just seems like that type, dog. I might be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong, man. No disrespect, my boy. Just my opinion. Because I have homies like that. You feel me? Get paid for it. Thank yeah, you. it's just, it's a, it's a uh, touchy situation, I think, on, uh, on on some sides of it. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing I, I don't really mess at all with that is because I always said, you know what, since day one, I'm not going to come in here and speak out about any any prison politics. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of those guys do. But they're also, they be getting hypocritical as fuck, homie. They be talking on, oh, you guys should.
on another thing too. You know, like I in prison, especially like I right, like in reception, bro. I remember I was going to medical one day, and there was fools in, in the cage, bro. And they're all banged out, fools. They're like straight homies, dog. Like they were, they were dropouts, but they were all tatted up. And I asked the homie, who's that? He's like, hey, them fools are no good no more. But they were trying to talk to us. Like, they were like telling us, hey, hey. And they like, don't even talk to him. They're like, if you even talk to him, bro, you, you'll get in trouble. Like, you might get DP'd and shit or worse. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, do you live by the G code? Do you live by the prison code or not? All right? Because some people, they'll, they'll take certain rules from prison and apply them out here. And other rules, they won't. What is it, dog? It has to be one way or the other, dog. Do you live by the prison code or not, dog? Because everyone's picking and choosing. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do that because the homies are tripping behind the walls. We're not allowed to do that. So you're living by the prison code. But then when it comes to other shit, nah, this ain't the yard. Who cares about that? I mean, do you live by the code or not, dog? Like, that's my thing, bro. Should be talking about this. You guys should be talking about that. You guys are giving up the whole sopa tamale in the bank, homie. Like everything, bro. Hey, you know what? I don't agree with that, and I don't respect it. But at the same time, I uh, I'm a human being, right? And as a human being, I know that my audience. You know, at first, I was all against them. I'm not gonna say I'm for them, but to me, it's like this: to slice the. You look, my boy, look angry. Huh? <laughs> my boy, look angry, G. You're like lucky, bro. You both angry, my boy. Take a chill pill, bro. Smoke a lenny or something, my boy. I'ma I'm say it like this, bro. You're too rough. As long as I'm not kicking it with them, you feel me? I'm welcome in jail. You're too hot. That's all I could say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if I don't kick it with them, no, it is what it is. Whoever else has their own opinions, I'm not here to clean house. I'm not here to do none of that because I love my freedom. Oh shit, yeah. You know bro. what I'm saying? Yeah, just get your bag. Get a bag. And that's it. You feel me? You don't need all that extra shit, dog. Go get a bag. And like you said, do you live by the prison rules or not? You feel me? Like, if you're going to apply it to the streets, apply it to the streets. If you're going to leave that in there, leave that in there. Get your bag. That's right, bro. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna be here speaking, like, too negative to the point where I get myself volunteered <laughs> to take care of the trash. <laughs> See me this? Yeah, With all the sure. respect to the ones that do, I respect that, bro. Yeah. I respect the hell out of that. But at the same time, I want to stay free. Uh, I want to keep my subscribers. I want to grow. I don't want to go backwards. That's right. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. They're there. I didn't put them there. And it's too late. It's too late to, to but, start uh, separating. Are we ever going to see a, a collab with you and one of those guys? Later. Yeah, bro. He ain't going to do no collab with no one, bro. Come on. You know Cholo Hong's been around, bro. Trying to trap him or something, my boy. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Negative. I'm never going to be in the same room with them. That's right. Because I still have certain beliefs. Uh, will I mention them? Yes. Okay. You know, because they're part of the YouTube Yarda. Yeah. All right. The question you got to ask yourself. Let's say your page is about to just go out and YouTube is your dream, being a YouTuber. And your last hope was a PC dropout that had hundreds of thousands of subscribers that was willing to help you out, and you knew that that would put you right back on. So you're just going to quit everything just because of the status behind the walls, that you, the rules that you live by that you don't live by sometimes, but you do sometimes, but you don't sometimes? <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. Uh, yeah, for you sure. Know, um, they mention me, I'm okay with it. I just say, when I say, like, mention and say who they are, is because there's a lot of people that come and they're new to YouTube and off the top that all oh, these fools are, you know, if you don't know them, yeah, these fools are feeding them, they got, you know, they got the platica down, this and that, and people gravitate to that, bro. Yeah. And then once they find out, like, what? It's like, no way, like, fool. But just... that's the gang members, bro. Huh? That's the gang members. Yeah, but even, even the gang members, but it... Most of the guys watching are gang members, fool. Let's keep it real. No, so, I don't, I, I have to disagree with you, that you one. You don't think so? Yeah, bro. I mean, there's a lot of gang members, yeah, but most of them are probably like teenagers, you know, people in their 20s, 30s and shit, you know, just curious about the streets or people that never really lived that, but they're, like I said, they're curious, dog, and they're fascinated by the, the lifestyle. 
That's why you get so much views, bro. That's why you get so much questions and comments. And people want to know this and that. And they want to see the documentaries and who was where and when and who's from where and what hoods were and who's the most active and things. Because it's entertaining, dog. And a lot of people haven't lived that. I know it's hard to believe, but it's the truth, y'all. The hood is small compared to the rest of the world. So No, because just by reading the comments, me, I grew up as a hardcore gang member dog, going to prison every year, dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? Doing the damn thing. And just by reading the comments, my mentality is not there with these people. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't currently. So with that being said and established, I don't believe they're that type of gang member, dog. You know what I'm saying? So I believe that there's a lot of a lot of uh, audience that wish they were, but they live a normal life. Well, yeah, yeah, bro. Like a lot of people, like you said, wish they were. Like like you said, he goes in the comment section, and when he speaks to him or, or goes back and forth with him in the comment section, it don't correlate. Two different people. You feel me? Way different talk, different verbiage. Uh, the understanding ain't there. You know, the person hasn't been around. Well, I think a lot of this stuff also, I think a lot of this stuff uh, glamorizes it. Yeah, no, of course. Because I'm not trying to do that, but it is what it no, is. No, you're not. I, I think a lot of stuff glamorizes it because, you know, it's, oh, the joint this, the joint that. And they're still, to me, they're still making young people believe what you used to believe, what I used to believe. Oh, man, it's about going to jail, this and that. And Look, bro, I talk about it because I've been through it, and I got, like, shit I need to let it off my chest, dog. Like, I never mention no names or any rule, like, pinpoint situations, you feel me? With any individuals pinpointing anything like that. You know, sometimes like it was it's my life, so I'll speak about it and a lot of people too. So you can't really get mad at people for speaking about their life and their experiences, really. That's really what it is, dog. And I'm of sure course. you felt like that at a certain point. I mean I wanted to go to jail. Right? You, know? you wanted to get that fucking stripe. I wanted yeah, to join. For me, 270 days I said Chaluca, so I'm one of the pinta. Ah, no, you, know I mean? you wanted to join. Yeah, I wanted to join. Look, bro, I used to look up to that shit, too. I used to want to go to prison, and then I got there, and they were flipping all the yards, and it was, you know what I'm saying? It was all bad, bro. So I got there at a rough time. I seen a lot of people get hurt, a lot of fights, a lot of riots, things like that, stabbing. So it was crazy, bro. Different times, dog. Different times. I was there when, you know, the, like I said, the, the integration, uh, the new policies, COVID, like, that was my turn, dog. Like, I didn't experience the normal turn. You know what I'm saying? With the one and two yards, we're all good. You could just go to one and two and do a year or two and be active and go home. I experienced real action, dog. You know what I'm saying? We was up in the middle of all that. So it's different, dog, if you've actually been through it. And when I've been through that, I'm like, I don't want to go back. You feel me? So my message is don't go back. I just talk about it because that's what I've been through, bro. So, and like I said, bro, American Troll's a cool guy, but you can't prevent people from uh, talking about their experiences, dog. And that's just my opinion, dog. <coughs> Again, <coughs> my bad. Again, you're speaking facts, but you know what I'm saying you also gotta understand that the YouTube yada is is not full of people that bang. It's full of, it's, you know, a lot of fools do, but. You know, there's a mass majority that don't, and they're just curious about the lifestyle. It's entertaining to them, so you can't pick and choose, bro. You know what I'm saying? And as far as other foods talking about certain subjects you don't like, just ignore them, bro. Block them, whatever, bro, because you tuning in is not making yourself look any better. You feel me? Like, as an active individual, an active member of your society, you feel me? So that's just what it is, dog. That's a little food for thought. That's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I, I send mine to Cholo Juan, man. Solid individual. I send mine to American Cholo, too, man. Seems like a cool dude. Feel me? You don't always have to see eye to eye with people who agree with him. It is what it is, dog. But I send mine to all of them. And let me know what you guys think, bro. You know what I'm saying? Was Cholo Juan right in his response? I think he handled it correctly, man. As he should. Just worry about the bag. Don't worry about someone's status unless... You're in that situation, you know, like on the yard and shit, you know. And like you said, don't collab with the individual. Just stay away from them. You feel me? Go around them. Don't go out of your way to get at them. Because it's not going to make you look good, bro. 
So that's what I got to say. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We're going to continue to get it. I appreciate it. Program time.